Okay, here we go. Today we made a PowerPoint about cranial nerves to better help you understand their function and their pathway. An easy mnemonic to help remember the first letter of each of the 12 cranial nerves in order is OOO, they traveled and found Voldemort guarding very ancient horcruxes. The 12 cranial nerves in order are as follows. Olfactory nerve 1, optic nerve 2, oculomotor nerve 3, trochlear nerve 4, and trigeminal nerve 5. Trigeminal nerve 5 has three divisions. Division 5, 1, division 5, 2, and division 5, 3. Each division corresponds with a location on the face. Division 5, 1 corresponds with the ophthalmic region. Division 5, 2 corresponds with the maxillary div uh, division. And division 5, 3 corresponds with the mandibular division. Then we have abducens nerve 6, facial nerve 7, vestibulo cochlear nerve 8, glossopharyngeal nerve 9, vagus nerve 10, accessory nerve 11, and hypoglossal nerve 12. Each nerve has a sensory function, a motor function, or can function as both. An easy mnemonic to remember the functions is some say marry money, but my brother says big business makes more. Olfactory nerve 1 has a bulb that sits on top of the cribriform plate as the actual nerve itself, olfactory nerve 1, runs through the cribriform plate and gives us our sense of smell. Optic nerve 2 runs the optic canal and its function is sight. Oculomotor nerve 3, trochlear nerve 4, trigeminal nerve division 5-1 and abducens nerve 6 all run through the superior orbital fissure. Ocular motor nerve 3 gives our motor function of most of our eye muscles, ciliary muscles, and pupil constriction. Trochlear nerve 4 innervates the superior oblique of the eye. Trigeminal nerve 5-1 and all of trigeminal nerve we will simplify and condense all together and together their sensory function is face, teeth, and tongue and their motor is muscles of mastication. Abducens nerve 6 innervates the lateral rectus of the eye. The second branch of the trigeminal nerve runs to the foramen rotundum, while the third branch runs to the foramen ovale. Facial nerve 7 and vestibular cochlear nerve 8 both run through the internal acoustic meatus. Facial nerve 7 has a sensory function for the anterior two-thirds of our tongue and gives us a sense of taste, and has a motor division that helps with facial expression, saliva, and tears. Vestibular cochlear nerve 8 gives us our hearing, balance, and posture. The glossopharyngeal nerve 9, the vagus nerve 10, and the accessory nerve 11 all run through the jugular foramen. The glossopharyngeal nerve 9 receives taste for the posterior third part of our tongue and has the motor function of swallowing and secretion of saliva. The vagus nerve 10 innervates 70% of the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. Accessory nerve 11 innervates the trapezius and the sternocleidomastoid. Hypoglossal nerve 12 runs through the hypoglossal canal and innervates the muscles of the tongue. This depiction is easy to recreate and is a helpful tool in memorizing the pathways of the cranial nerves.